Maybe the number one reason people move to Texas from other states, property taxes, or the low overall tax burden of living in Texas. There's no state income tax, but we do have this property tax issue, and it's always part of the conversation around home ownership in Texas. Uh, home ownership as well as you know commercial property ownership. But those moving here are typically interested in the overall lower cost burden, but property taxes are probably the number one complaint of current Texas homeowners all the time. Even right now during the governor's race, the, gov the primary for the governor's race, one of the major candidates is talking about repealing property taxes. We actually had a discussion about that on our live radio show this week. And I want you to check that out right now. If you have any questions about any of that, check out the other videos on our uh, channel here about taxes and cost of living and the benefits of making a move to Texas. Check out the video. We were talking a little bit earlier in the studio about uh, the upcoming primaries. Mm -hmm. um, Gubernatorial primaries. Fun, yep, fun those are the ones. And what some of the things are being talked about, specifically we were talking about uh, Don Huffines, um, taking away property taxes, potentially introducing another type of uh, consumption consumption tax to do that. Like, give us kind of an overview of this. What do you think this means? Where could it go? Like, yeah. First, first, let me lay it down a disclaimer that we are not. This is this discussion isn't intended to sway your political decision, but it's intended to to just talk about how politics can impact your real estate decisions, right? So. I do not know enough about candidates and their complete platforms to give you any direction on who to vote for or whatever. But one of the central conversations in the campaign, because Huffines is promoting that one of his platform ideas is to eliminate property taxes. Now, again, I haven't gotten into every nuance of his platform, but on the surface, what that means is currently when you buy a home, you will pay a tax based on the value of that home. Um, and, and there's a lot that's wrapped up into that, school districts and state and, and lots of different things with exemptions and all that stuff. But there's almost no single bigger complaint in the state of Texas right now around property ownership than the rapidly rising property taxes and people's desire to protest those taxes and all those things. That folks that are on fixed incomes, but the cost of living in a home that they previously bought and paid off continues to go up and they're getting priced out of their own home that they already bought and paid for. Now, the flip side of that is Texans have historically been somewhat okay with property taxes because we haven't had other types of state and local taxes like a state income tax. So, you know, let's acknowledge the fact that Texas still has a, you know, a, a preferred tax situation compared to most other states. There's but, a reason why so many people yes. and businesses are still moving here. Right. Yes. Now, our property taxes are higher than lots of other states, but we don't have a lot of those other taxes. So uh, one of the proposals is to just wipe that out and replace it with a consumption tax. Now, there's a lot of debate around what a consumption tax even is or how it would work or who it penalizes and who it rewards. But basically what it means is you get taxed only when you choose to consume, to buy things, to pay for things. Now, there's a lot of difference of opinions of whether that penalizes lower income people or rewards higher income people. That's not the discussion for today. The discussion for today is the fact that it is at least in the realm of possibility that we could have the highest level of state leadership who is trying to, there's no guarantee that he would ever do it. I think it's actually extraordinarily low likelihood that he even could ever do it, even if elected. But that doesn't mean I don't think it would be good, but um, I don't think it's highly likely. The point I'm making is that's part of the big conversation around real estate in our state, in DFW right now, is that there's at least a possibility that the entire tax structure around property ownership could change. And it would change the economics of owning, buying, investing, selling, leasing, holding property. Um, currently, owners have to factor in a relatively chunky tax burden every single year. Uh, people are protesting taxes and that's affecting rental rates and all those things. So for the average person, ultimately the goal would be to, you know, take that tax burden from mandatory to optional. Now, a lot of people would say it's not optional to buy things you need to sustain your family. But again, the reason we're bringing it up 
is because it's a major conversation in our uh, governor's race, especially in the primary. Now, we'll see who makes it out of the primary. The, the conversation may become even more prominent or it may go away. But that's what's going on. That's probably the number one current political conversation in Texas that's relevant to local homeowners and property owners. Now, one thing really quickly, if, um, if that were to go away, then I think we would be susceptible to other politicians trying to put something in its place, like a transfer tax. And a transfer tax in real estate, in my personal opinion, is a terrible thing. It would be literally pricing, taxing the sale of a, of a property like you price the sale of a, uh, you know, a, a toy. You know, you'd have a quote unquote sales tax on houses. Imagine that, you know, you go to the store, you buy a $10 toy, you pay eight and a quarter, depending on where you are or whatever. Just imagine you go buy a $500,000 house and there's $50,000 and just, oh, that's just a tax. That's for transferring ownership. Well, you could argue that those, those fees are being paid in different ways, but it's my opinion that if we truly did eradicate the tax, you would quickly see politicians yeah. kind of forget that we had tried to replace it with a consumption tax and now get away with that one. You might be worse off than you are now. So I, I don't know what's best. I just know that's part of the conversation. 